Good evening, I'm Sam Kavanagh with tonight's news. Top story this evening, a rapid increase in violent bloody attacks in our rural and suburban areas with residents in a panic state. Early today we spoke with Police Commissioner Charles Woodrow in regards to this recent wave of brutal attacks. Yesterday saw 60 attacks and today a further 280. Due to the unusually large amount of violent outbreaks taking place in our low crime areas, we have called in extra enforcements to supplement our existing police presence. But rest assured, with the extra patrols in place, there is no need for residents to panic. That was the voice of Police Commissioner Charles Woodbury, reassuring residents that there is no need for concern. Let's hope he's right. Now John, with the sports. Thanks Sam. Well, with the launch of the new freestyle motocross show at Warner Brothers Movie World tonight, I managed to tie down team manager Gary Reed today for a quick chat. Well, Gary, first of all, let me say how thrilled we are to have you back here at Warner Brothers Movie World for another year. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be back. Uh, a little bit scared after last year. You know, we had vampire trouble and we had stuff coming from us everywhere during the shows, but I think we got it covered and we're ready for a big show. Sounds exciting. So what have we got to look forward to this year? Well, this year we've brought back two of these countries most experienced freestyle riders. They've been everywhere, they've done everything around the world and they're here. They've got a massive big bag of tricks and they're ready to unleash. Well, you heard the man, folks. If you want to check out the freestyle motocross team for yourself, get down here to Warner Brothers Movie World tonight. Thanks for your time, Gary. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, John. Sounds like it's going to be an exciting show. Now, folks, news just in on our previous story. It seems as though the violent attacks have escalated, forcing the military to become involved. We now pass to our live correspondent, Jane Blake, who's on the ground. Jane? Yes, sir. Despite the police commissioner's earlier reassurances, the situation definitely seems to have escalated. Yes, Sam, I'm here with Dr. Henry Bradford, Head of ICU Department. Right. Dr. Bradford, how is the rapid increase in patients affecting hospitals? Uh, as you can see, Tim, the staff pushed to the max. The hospital's blood supply is incredibly low. In fact, we don't know if we have enough to support another wave of patients. The ICU is full. Tonight is proving to be a great exhibition. And here come the cheerleaders now. 